All right, so in this video, what we're gonna talk about is our PowerFlex 525 uh, drive that we just got in, right? So we're hooking it up to our, our trainer. Um, if you follow this channel, you've seen it. We've talked about it before. We've opened up connect, uh, the connected components workbench, right? So this is what you use to get on, online and configure your drive, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go on, and I've already set the IP address. I set it manually on the actual IP. What we're gonna to do too is we're gonna go through the manual as well. I'm gonna show you some things in the manual that are gonna be very effective and help you actually get, do this. First, we're gonna discover it, All right? So we're gonna go in here. It's already hooked to our trainer. So um, like I say, I already kind of set up the ether, the IP address, right? It's a, a PowerFlex 525. It's a 110 single phase in, and it's going to be a three phase uh, 230 out, right? So we're gonna actually hook a 230 motor up to it. So um, in this video though, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to actually use a control bar and how to start it, right? Now, and how to actually go through and start and control this, right? You see the, the zero feedback and everything. You can see that uh, it's actually not running at this point in time, but if I were to start it, it would be at reference, right? Which is zero speed. You can actually hear it on right now. Um, and then if I were to change the speed, you can see it fluctuate to six hertz, right? If I raise the speed to 24 hertz, it goes up to 24 hertz, right? So it's working. I can come over here, I can actually use this 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 good this toolbar they give you, right? And connected components is really helpful to actually see if you can actually troubleshoot and you know go through and and see if your drive's functional, right? Before you actually do this is what you do when you like commissioning a drive, right? When you're commissioning a drive, you want to make sure that it's it's fully functional before you actually use it. So that's all. That's what we're doing this, in this process. And I'm going to show you. There's a couple key components to this. Okay. So one of one of the key components that I've done, and I want you to note this, is right here in this terminal, right? So if I can blow this up a little bit more, you can see right in here. And let's actually give it. I don't know if you can see that very well. So let's go over and show you this, right? On the terminal block, I have two things happening, okay? I have a jumper between one and 11, and that jumper is giving the stop bit, right? The, the actual one command that it needs to allow the drive to start, right? If you don't have that jumper in there, you're not going to actually have that uh, conductivity. Normally, you can have this as a stop push button or maybe a stop in your PLC logic or something like that that would actually stop that. But again, in this function, we're just setting our drive up, we're commissioning in our drive, we're getting it functional. And I want to show you the components that I have right here is I just have this jumper in here, just like they show. Now, another thing I want to highlight too is the safety. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually find, we're going to go to safety. So I'm going to type in safe. Let's just type in safe. And then we're going to find, right? Now, this right here is what I want to show you. So the safe off, right? This is safe torque off, right? So I want, to under, I want you to understand too, and let's, let's actually get this to a, a good solid place where you can see it. I want you to actually see this, right? So when you think about this, this is where your drive is want the command for your 24 volts DC is going to your safety, right? So you can see the conductivity there. This is where your drive wants that safety signal so it can actually run, right? So you're off, obviously you're gonna get, if you first powered up, you're gonna get a fault. The fault's gonna be safety. It's gonna be safety related, right? So you're going to actually have to wire that together. In this case, we're and temporarily while we're commissioning it, what we've done is we wired it together and I'll show you that in this actual uh, PDF right here. And I believe it's in page, uh, I believe it's down a little bit further down in the safety section. So we're gonna go down to the safety section of this drive. And I believe it is in, so it's not in startup. It's not in, I believe it's in the, the safety section, which would be not configuration safe off right here so this would actually show you exactly what i'm talking about and i'll show you and, and again so rather than showing you the drive because this is just, just as simple as showing you this right so this is the front of the drive right this is exactly exactly how i have it set up 
right? So if you can think about this, right? So if you can think about the specific point, I have this wired just like this, okay? So, and I've done that just because of the simple fact of this is giving me my stop command, right? So I'm able to start it, and this is giving me my safety signal, right? So again, this is something you want to enable. You want to actually bring this in. If you're just commissioning in it, right, you're not actually, this is not actually part of your system yet where you're actually controlling safety, right? This is what we've done. We've wired these together, okay? So this, oftentimes you can get a jumper if you're not using it or, or if it's something that's it's not part of it. I have this specifically wired together, again, just with a couple wires. And then, then I have one wire from the uh, uh, terminal 11 to terminal 1, right? So, and this is just to show you, again, highlighting drive commissioning, right? So I'll show you the parameters right here. All I've changed is I've changed my start source to ethernet right i want to control my start of ethernet i want to control my speed over ethernet too and then i'll get basically come in and change a couple different components like my my outputs right um and i, I came in and, and changed my ip address you can see my ip addresses right here you can also see my ip address over here in connected components and you can see it's a 192.168 uh 17 and again you can see that up here as well so you can also use these wizards to set this stuff up and it's very efficient. But you can't use the wizard if you are if you have your, your start um, your your control bar on on connected components. So make sure you note that and then you have the ability to actually use that. So if you do have your start command or your, your uh, control bar on, you can't use that, right? So again, if we want to start our, our drive, we want to raise our our actual herps up. And to see that, to, you go to overview, and you can see this right here. Use the drop down if you want. You can see that you, that's the feedback right now. So if I raise that, it goes all the way up. So this is the way you would commission and start a drive, right? And and again, just just so you get the basic bare parameters, and you get the bare stuff that you st you're starting with. Open up connected components, and you can actually do this. Now again this is just the the start of what we're doing we're going to actually start making videos we're going to put this drive now that we've got it configured the way we want it right we're going to put this drive in our system in our actual trainer system and then we're going to start controlling it now we're going to start we're going to load it in we're going to load the aops in. we're going to get everything working but again in this i wanted to show you from the start to finish what we're doing to show you exactly what we've done so far with the wiring what we've done and why we've done that right so that you understand how we have our system set up and we're going to actually integrate this with a safety system as we go through and go forward so but uh for without actually going any further this is how you actually use the uh, control bar and commission a drive just out of bare like just straight out the box i just literally opened it up and i just actually you know connected it i set the ip address and it connected it and i wanted to actually share everything from start to finish what we're doing so that you get the best knowledge from it so hopefully you like that video and we'll see you guys on the next one